Do you know which nerves need to be anesthetized to achieve painless tooth extraction? Let me give you a hint. No matter the tooth you're extracting, you always need to anesthetize three nerves. To achieve this, first of all, you need to understand the innervation of the teeth and the tissues that surround them. The nerves that enter the tooth are part of the pulp. Around the tooth, there is the periodontium, which is in direct contact with the alveolar bone. The gingiva connects to the tooth through the gingival dental junction. If we anesthetize these four structures, we can achieve painless extraction. We all have heard of the alveolar nerve. Whether in the upper or lower jaw, it forms an anatomical structure called dental plexus. It resembles a net of nerve fibers and provides innervation to the pulp periodontium, bone, and gingiva. So, by anesthetizing this nerve, we can perform painless extraction, yes? No. The gingiva has additional innervation from the sensory nerves supplying the soft tissues positioned vestibularly and orally to the alveolar process. Therefore, to perform painless extraction, regardless of which tooth we are extracting, we always need to anesthetize three nerves, the alveolar, the oral standing and the vestibular standing nerve. The nerves that innervate the lower jaw are the inferior alveola, which creates the dental plexus. The lingual nerve innervates the lingual gingiva. The buccal nerve innervates the vestibular gingiva in the posterior region of the mandible. The vestibular gingiva located at the anterior region of the mandible is innervated by a branch of the inferior alveolar nerve, mental nerve. Prior to tooth extraction in the posterior region of the mandible, we need to anesthetize inferior alveolar, lingual and buccal nerves. For teeth in the anterior region of the mandible, the inferior alveolar, lingual and mental nerves need to be anesthetized. The nerves that innervate the upper jaw are the posterior middle and anterior superior alveolar nerve, which create the dental plexus. The greater palatine nerve innervates the soft tissues in the area of the posterior two-thirds of the heart palate. Incisive nerve innervates the soft tissues covering the anterior one-third of the heart palate. The vestibular gingiva in the posterior region of the maxilla is innervated by branch of the posterior superior alveolar nerve. Some anatomy textbooks say buccal nerve plays a role in this area too. The vestibular gingiva located at the anterior region of the maxilla is innervated by infraorbital nerve. Prior to tooth extraction in the posterior region of the maxilla, we need to anesthetize the posterior superior alveolar nerve, greater palatine nerve and let's say buccal nerve. For the teeth in the anterior region of the maxilla, anterior superior alveolar, incisive and infraorbital nerves need to be anesthetized. Okay, let's recap the main points. This won't be just a rehearsal. I'll ask you questions. When you see this sign, pause the video and try to answer them. Ready? Okay. No matter the tooth you're extracting, to achieve painless extraction, how many nerves you need to anesthetize? I'll give you a hint. Don't forget about the double innervation of the gingiva. Well done. Let's try another one. The dental plexus is formed by the alveolar nerve. It innervates four structures. These are... So which nerves you should anesthetize when extracting maxillary lateral incisor? Well done. What about maxillary second molar? Nice! What about mandibular wisdom tooth? Great! And lastly, mandibular canine. This video provides a concise summary of the knowledge on this topic derived from the referred sources transformed through my clinical experience. If you find it valuable, hit the like button, subscribe and drop your questions in the comments below. You can join our mission by contributing on Patreon.
Only together we can revolutionize dental education.